Good morning. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Happy Tuesday morning. Um, this is Mornings with Michael, Tuesday version, Taco Tuesday, as they say, and the market. Um, hope everybody's having a great day. Um, it looks like another beautiful day in the San Francisco Bay Area. So let's just get right after it. I'm going to share my screen and it's amazing what you can do when you don't get any sleep. Been up for um, 20, 25, almost 26 hours now. So uh, I'm going to be um, rolling over in the bed um, not, not too long, but uh, Let's take a look at where we are. Once again, this is for educational and entertainment purposes only. If you have a question about a personal um, investing information, if you have personal portfolio, uh, anything of that note, please give us a call. You can reach us at 415-828-7997. First, let's go to the NASDAQ. It continues to lead the indexes. When you look at it at a weekly, it, uh, it looks like it's popped up again above its 200 day moving average. Yeah, and yesterday the volume was lighter than um, the previous day's uh, a volume on the buying. So that, that's good news. I will just have to see what today is. It is uh, recovering about close to 1% of its 2% uh, losses yesterday. Let's take a look at the IWM. It's amazing how well the IWM has done. It has really broken out of this consolidation pattern and uh, money managers must be willing to put um, riskier mid-level and small cap stocks to work. Let's look at the S&P 500. S&P 500 is up a little more than a half a percent today, um, trying to um, win back what it lost yesterday. Um, we'll continue to watch that 410 number. This is a key um, number to look for. We drew the line yesterday. Interesting. Um, yeah. I just have to uh, think back. David Ryan of Investors Business Daily, everybody was kind of bemoaning the fact on the show that um, um, watch for the pullback. Um, and David called back and said, called him on the show and said, hey, listen, you got to be more positive. There's a lot of entrepreneurial um, companies that are are working hard and succeeding. And uh, that was January 6th, I believe. That was January 6th, the first day of a breakout. And then on January 11th, it continued. So um, this is a follow through day here on, on January 6th, subsequent follow through day on January 12th, subsequent follow, well, I'm, I guess I'm looking at the wrong index. It should be looking at the NASDAQ. So this is a follow through on the 12th. This is a break follow through on the 6th. This is a follow through on the 20th. And then this is a follow through on the 27th. So we've had four follow through days. That means professional money managers buying on heavy volume. So this is all positive. 
in a bullish direction. Can we see the same thing on the um, small cap index? This is the 12th. The six, it was a little lower, a little under the 50 day moving average, but it's close. This is massive volume on the 20th. So you got uh, at least three days on the IWM. And then we have it on the six on the S&P 500. We have it on the 12th again on the S&P 500. We have it on the 20th. And we have it on the 25th, not the 27th on the S&P compared to the NASDAQ. But the NASDAQ continues to lead the market forward, uh, which is positive. So let's take a look at the dollar index. Dollar index is just kind of moving sideways after it's Big pullback. Let's take a look at yields on the 10 year note. They're pulling back some, so that makes sense um, for the NASDAQ to come back today. When yields back off, um, it allows the high multiple stocks that have their high interest rate or have their loans that they have to uh, pay off with uh, their earnings look a little better. We'll, we'll have to see tomorrow as Jay Powell's um, testimony, and we'll just have to see what they're going to put forward for interest rate height. Everybody is believing that they're going to go with the 25 basis points, a quarter inch interest increase. So let's look at... Um, the TBT, the 20 year yield, it's doing about the same thing as a 10 year. Energy, Exxon really blew away their earnings. So that's a part of it there. And I believe um, oil turned around. Yeah, oil turned around is up a little over 1%. It was down earlier. Um, Natural gas is up slightly. It's not much of a, a move at less than a quarter percent. And you, you got to take um, some positive out of it. And let's take a look at XME. Metals and mining is up. GLD up slightly. XLK, um, software, T, transportation is up, financials up a um, tiny amount. Let's look at the um, Semiconductors, they're up. So now I'm going to take a look at um, some individual issues that are doing well. First, in the software, some of the newer companies. Look at AI. Tom Seibold of Seibold Systems is um, kind of the creative genius behind this. Um, and it, it's just taken off like nobody's business. Um, it's too far extended to buy, but it's definitely something to watch for the future. Look at this massive volume. It did sell off um, yesterday. Guess you could say that was your opportunity to get in. Um, it was huge volume on the downside, but look at look at today. Um, and we have um, double verify. 
after its gap up, um, I believe it was on earnings. Um, they're pulling back here. Uh, we'll just see if they can stay above or if they pull back to fill the gap. Elastic um, European software company for, um, I believe it's for, a search company, but it has really terrible uh, relative strength. Only has 14 out of 99. Um, it's been going sideways for a long time. It's probably uh, not a stock you want to invest in at the moment. AYX. It's sporting a um, better relative strength, but it's really going sideways. Um, look at this long move. Really hasn't done anything, um, but well, it's a good one to watch. And then our leader from the previous bull run in software service now had a big pop up on 56% earnings increase. And I was just trying to maintain above the 200 day moving average. It's got good earnings, good strong relative earnings per share rank. Um, the relative strength line is just a little weak. So we'll continue to watch this. And then the semiconductors, they're really starting to perk up. NVIDIA looks like it's um, broken out. Maybe it's trying to develop a handle over here. Volume has been pretty good. I sat down with um, a, a Qualcomm engineer last night and um, he, he really liked Marvel. Let's take a look at Qualcomm. Starting to gain strength as well, much like the other semi stocks. Earnings is in two days. Earnings is supposed to be down 19% this year and up 19% next year. It's um, earnings per share rating is 96 out of 99, which is good. And um, growth rate is 30%, pretty incredible. Let's look at uh, some of the leaders. Legro Microsystem just blew out of uh, its buy zone. Um, yeah, it's a little bit extended right now. Definitely something to watch. The relative strength rating line bounced into new highs. What you could do is right here, right here, the, the line went into new highs. So this is um, your warning that you should, um, should be looking at this for a possible buy right here. ACLS. Excellus technology continues to shine. Where did it break out? The new high is right here. I guess this is the point it broke out to new highs. This one um, broke, broke out uh, around 250. Well, I would say it was more like six. Let's 
say nine, nine oh eight, and from nine oh eight, it hit a high of um, thirty, almost thirty seven. And then let's take a look at STM. This is a Swiss manufacturer of semiconductor products. And look at this. Gapped up on its earning 61% earnings increase. Look at these blue volume bars all across here. Sold off on low volume. This is what you want to see. And then um, this is professional money managed. There's just pouring money into the stock. So um, that's kind of our, our look today. Once again, um, market is up today. One day sell off. We had a week, um, not a lot of volume on the selling, which is good. We can go out and have our Taco Tuesday lunch and celebrate. We'll continue watching um, the market here for everybody. Kind of look at the hospitality, home builders, some of the other um, areas that are performing well in the coming week. In the meantime, this has been Mornings with Michael. Uh, this is for educational and entertainment purposes only. If you have a, a <clears throat> any personal finance questions, feel free to reach out to us. 415-828-7997. We'd love to hear what your goals are and see how we can help you meet them and exceed them. In the meantime, remember your goals are tantamount to your success. And once you have your goals set in stone, write down your plan of action, your activities, and keep track of them and check in with your team. And um, weekly audit uh, meetings are really important to make sure you're on track. In the meantime, Hope everybody has a great day and we'll be um, pulling for you wherever you are.